What's up guys? So uh, today I just wanted to do a review of the 2022 Suzuki King Quad 750AXI. Um, this is the, you know, automatic version, uh, belt drive system. Uh, Full wheel drive, locking front differential, power steering, makes a huge difference. A um, little bit of weed eater string there. Uh, so guys, I've had this uh, ATV for about a year now. Actually, a little over a year. I bought it in August of 21. Um, still relevant. The 2023 models of the King Quad's really not going to be any different than you know these. Suzuki doesn't really change a whole lot over the years. Um, so, uh, for any of you guys looking to update or looking for a new four wheeler, anything of that matter, you know, uh, just going to give you a little imp insight on this. Uh, I've put approximately 115 hours or hours, 115 miles on it. Uh, I did do the, uh, service for the differentials and the, the motor oil. So I'm past the uh, hundred mile mark. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a powerful four-wheeler, guys. Uh, not going to, you know, take anything away from it there. It's a, it's a pretty stout motor. I actually, I moved a, a trailer. I weighed about 2,000 pounds with this thing. Now, obviously, it's squatted down some because in the back of this ATV here is the independent rear suspension. Uh, you know, I, I kind of have mixed feelings on that. On one hand, you know, it's super plush uh, to ride through the woods. You know, it absorbs bumps and ruts really well. Uh, but when it comes to work in the ATV, you know, having that solid axle where, you know, you're, you're attaching the trailer or whatever you're pulling, you know, directly to a, to a solid axle and you're not really putting that strain on the suspension. Um, that's one thing to kind of take into consideration. Now, I will say that even though that this ATV was squatted, uh, it did move that trailer, you know, pretty well, honestly. Um, another thing on here is uh, these compartments. So, obviously, I've got a few uh, ratchet straps in there because you never know when you're going to need a ratchet strap, right? I got a bottle of water in there because, you know, sometimes I ride for a long time and having an extra bottle of water, you know, it can be a good thing sometimes. Uh, moving on up here, the seat on this ATV, super comfortable, uh, really plush, soft seat, you know, really good for longer rides. Um, you know, I've, I've honestly put quite a few miles on this ATV, uh, just through the woods, kind of at a fast pace. And, you know, the seat is, is, is really comfortable. It's a great seating position. You, you don't feel like you're, you know, going to slide off, you're going to slip, or you don't have control of the ATV. Um, another thing I'll mention is these racks here. So Suzuki, the, the newer ATV racks just aren't quite what, um, what they used to be, you know, back in the, uh, the 2000s and stuff you know it was it was it was round tube pretty much all the way around uh you got some thinner pieces here um but these these have held up well you know uh i've carried 100 150 pounds on them uh fine with no problems uh, of course got my bungee straps there for uh hooking a chainsaw on as you can see you've got the the oil stains on there uh you've got this nice compartment here super great for putting your phone in uh it's, it's actually really nice it's watertight sealed there um really good to put any kind of valuables wallets whatever you guys take with you uh you do have your 12 volt power outlet here so if you need to run anything i, I run a electric uh, chainsaw blade sharpener on there a lot uh works great of course you got your foot brake hand brake here standard hydraulic brakes now your front brakes uh, on this ATV here, if you can see there, they're uh, disc brakes, right? And uh, I will say that these brakes stop really well. Okay, the front brakes are impressive. Um, the rear brakes on this ATV is actually a wet brake there inside the diff. Um, and, uh, or 
well more or less right there okay um i'm actually a fan of the wet brake to be honest with you guys it uh it's really simple it lasts a really long time you don't get quite the uh, braking strength that you do out of disc brakes but really low maintenance honestly okay um so this atv is really quiet um start it up here so it's a it's actually a really quiet atv i'm just talking normal right now uh i don't really know how much louder it is than i am but uh it's a really quiet atv which is great for hunting uh riding around when you're just not trying to spook game or you know when you just kind of want to move along nonchalant right super bright headlights and a high beam so your regular head bright headlights down here if i turn them on that'd be great So here's your low beams, okay? So, uh, you know, you got your standard just low beam here, and actually have the aux on there as well. So the auxiliary lights up top there, okay? So that's gonna turn on all your lights, but you're gonna got these with your regular headlights, and then your high beam, you do have high beams. Now, if you turn on your auxiliary light, it does not change with your low beam high beams. It's just these. Okay. Uh, some people find that, you know, not the greatest. They they like having a, you know, an auxiliary light with a low beam, high beam. It doesn't really matter to me. In fact, I honestly don't find myself using the auxiliary light that often. Uh, do have a tow strap here because this ATV, believe it or not, gets used quite a bit to uh, pull down to, uh, trees that I cut down, pull them out so I can get them uh, bucked up with the chainsaw. Uh, yeah, so let's sit on it and uh, talk a little bit more about some things on here. So, obviously it has a really nice gauge cluster, okay? Uh, everything's digital. You know, you got your, uh, you can reset trip time, odometers, everything's all right here. Um, I did actually leave the plastic on here uh, just to help protect the screen from scratch and stuff where I do ride in the woods all the time. Uh, kill switch, your override, which is... You know, sometimes in reverse, you gotta hit that override, you know, it's just the uh, same as the older four-wheelers, it's nice. Uh, the four-wheel drive system on this ATV is actually pretty interesting. So, basically, push the button, and you see this little four-wheel drive icon down here is engaged, so you're in four-wheel drive. Then you also notice this right here says diff lock, and all you do to, to put the diff lock on, flick that up, and you're gonna get this little red light right here. And that's going to tell you that your diff lock is on okay and when you start moving it's going to lock in and it's going to be just like that now i will say that even with the power steering uh even with the power steering you know and four and four you know with the uh, diff lock on it's uh it can be a handful so i will actually i'm going to back up here it's kind of coast i'm not everything here is on a hill so uh we're actually going to pull uphill a little bit and I'll just give you guys a quick little uh, view so you can kind of see what kind of uh, you know power this thing has. Okay. And uh, that was just taking off in uh, high gear there, guys. And I really didn't go that far. Maybe I don't know, 60 feet or so. Um, I did get some wheel spin there, and the front end was kind of hanging off the ground so i had to lean forward there to keep it from uh going back on me this thing's got some some power for sure guys and uh you know i think it would be a great atv and like i said it's it's really not super loud we'll put it in full wheel drive here go ahead and go in low and uh, i'm just gonna go up the go up the mountain here and this is way steeper than it looks on camera guys so
kind of flattened off here some. Now this is the, the really steep part. You kind of got to go up this little bend here without sliding over the mountain. Hard to do with one hand. We'll get her done there. So yeah guys, I mean this thing's super smooth rod, um, you know, I'm basically just sitting flat up on the seat here and uh, you know, going through all this overgrowth here, usually in the winter time, it's not near this bad, it's pretty easy to get up through here. Um, just haven't really had time to come up here and keep everything ran down and cleared out, so kind of that's, that's bad on my part. Um, yeah, I had a couple trails through here, they just overgrown some, so we're going over what I think was an old trail now i know back through here is actually a giant pile of wood actually it might uh let's see if we can't just go back there right i'll take this out of four wheel drive i don't really need it up here and we'll just go in high gear because if i get stuck i'll put her in, i'll put her in low but i don't think i'm gonna need it of this pile, I think. No, nah, not really. It's all the way back there. In there somewhere, right? So, uh, it's winter time. I gotta get up here and clear all this out. And, uh, driving with one hand, I don't really feel like, uh, trying to fight through it with one hand on this. There's so much hidden debris in here. Uh, just not really worth me tearing up the four-wheeler, you know what I mean? We'll go down through here some. So I've got a little bit of property here. You know, uh, I've actually got a lot of trails through, through this little property. Um, it's just hard to get to them all right now. Or I'd be riding all over the place. Hopefully this winter though, uh, when things start dying off, I'm gonna get up here and really clear some things out. A couple trees have fallen down up here. So uh, probably gonna put some saws to use. Uh, yeah, I've got a got a few saws. I might do some reviews on just uh, you know, in case anybody that's looking for a Husqvarna chainsaw because that's what I use. I don't know what the, everybody prefers. I'm not really uh, opposed to using steel, but what I have on hand is a Husqvarna. So actually, two Husqvarnas. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, there's actually a trail that runs through here, but like I said, guys, overgrowth is really bad. I don't really feel like. Uh, pushing it with one hand operating this uh, ATV because, uh, you know, you got to still be safe, right? And riding it with one hand in the first place is not safe at all, but do it for the tube, you know what I mean, guys? Do it for the tube. Uh, all right. This thing don't get stuck. I'll tell you right now, that diff lock on this thing is a force to be reckoned with on any hill. I don't care where it is, what it is. It will, uh, it'll go up, and if it won't go up, it'll move the ground underneath it to make it go up. And that ain't no joke either. Uh, I have taken this thing, I have taken this thing some places that were unbelievable. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't even think I could be able to take it in some of the places that I've that I've gotten this thing to go, right? Um, so we'll sit here and park this for a second. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, this, this ATV is it's pretty good. Um, you know, I don't really have many complaints about it at all. So far, it's been, you know, really reliable. Knock on wood, if any of y'all out there believe in superstition, you know. Uh, been super reliable uh it's really fun it's a blast to ride it's got plenty of power it, it'll haul you know it'll pull i haven't had any problems uh, as far as that goes uh, i will tell you guys though uh, if you do get this atv uh, and you go to change your your diff fluid on here you see this, this piece right here yeah that's a 10 millimeter allen head socket okay and uh 
there's actually two different sizes there i can't remember what the other one is but i had to go buy a whole set from napa just to uh <laughs> just to change the fluids on there uh i would say guys the only con uh, and it's not even really a con you know if you guys do a lot of trail riding um you know a lot of hunting just you know whatever uh the independent suspension is great i just think if you're going to work it and you know try to tow heavy loads with it i think that it would be better suited with a solid axle uh, but then again you know that's personal preference and uh i really can't complain much guys this this four wheeler is great um i love it and you know the reason i actually got it was uh you know one of my family members they got a, a 400 had that thing for 14 15 years something like that maybe longer and it's still it's still going uh, the odometer stopped at like 3,800 miles. Uh, it leaks oil out of the valve cover gasket. It's been rolled down the side of mountains six different times, maybe more, seven different times. I know I rolled it twice. Um, you know, it just keeps on going. You know, it, it's a it's a solid machine. Uh, these are made in America, as are the 400s. And I'll probably do a review on uh, my wife's uh, King Quad 400. Um, you know. I, I got them both. Hers is a 2022 model. I got them at the same time, and uh, they have been excellent. They they really have been great four wheelers for us um, and the family. You know, we 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 all own little farms. Well, mine's a little farm. <laughs> you know, uh, mine. You know, mine's a little farm. But uh, you know, my family members they you know 80 acres, and so uh, we use four wheelers a lot. Uh, just uh, you know. It's a great, great ATV, guys. I'm not going to take any way, th anything away from it. I think it looks sweet. It's got a super sweet look on it. Uh, the angles are nice and sharp, but it's also rounded enough to, to really just, I don't know, guys. It just gives it a freaking mean look. Like, I, I just think that this ATV looks awesome, right? I think it looks mean. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not a, a red guy. But uh, so far, every new vehicle except for my motorcycle, which I might do a review on that later too, you know, in case you guys find a used one, pick it up because they're sweet. But, uh, you know, it's been red. And uh, I will tell you guys that the next time I do a diff change and an oil change, I'm definitely going to do another video on this ATV uh, because it, it was, uh, you know, if you don't have an owner's manual, uh, it can be a bit tricky. Now, I did have to go in the owner's manual, search for it every time, but nobody wants to do that. Everyone wants to go on YouTube and just look it up right and that's that's totally cool um yeah guys so uh i think i'm uh gonna maybe try and find some of these old trails here for a little while ride around a bit and uh just have a little bit of fun i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys uh that are looking for a new atv can kind of uh take this review and maybe you know you know, maybe it'll help your decision. Maybe it'll be something that you guys want to do, uh, want to buy. Uh, maybe you're deciding between one of these and a Honda or a, a Kawasaki. And I think there's pros and cons to all. Uh, but for some reason, guys, uh, guys and girls, you know, I know ladies out there ride too, you know. Uh, I really just find it hard to beat a King Quad. I, I think that they, they haven't changed in so long that... They don't because they really don't need to. I mean, these, these ATVs are, you know, pretty much bulletproof. Um, and you know, like on this one on the 750 here, having the uh, the push button four wheel drive, but also having that electronic diff lock. Now that diff lock pays. It really pays for itself. Uh, I've been in some situations on some hills, going up some things. I probably shouldn't have been going up, but that that diff lock. If it weren't for that, I, I'd have never never made it up. Um, it just it just tractors. You know, put it in low gear four-wheel drive and lock the diff uh it'll it, it take you up this tree i mean I ain't, I ain't joking it's it's that good um and power on this thing's pretty good like i said you know i just did a quick little pull there for about 60 feet or so and uh you know we almost hit 25 but these back these back tires were spinning in the grass and uh, i was actually trying to fight the front end from coming down you know again using one hand kind of kind of limits what i can do um, again, guys, you know, hope you enjoyed the, the review and, uh, hope you guys are looking forward to some of the other videos, uh, as well, like I am on doing some other reviews on things and, uh, hopefully helping you guys out, make uh, financial decisions and purchases on just, uh, 
things that are good to have. I got something breaking here in the branches behind me. Might have some deer sneaking up on me or something. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, if you like this video or, uh, you know, think it was an inf inform informational, <laughs> informational review, sorry about that, uh, you know, like, subscribe, you know, comment. If you've got guys got a favorite uh, and girls, guys and girls, don't want to leave out the ladies. Uh, if y'all have a favorite ATV or, you know, you picked up a new ATV and, you know, you guys want to talk about it or, you know, maybe talk about some of the points of what those ATVs have and what this doesn't or vice versa, um, you know, leave it in the comments, guys. But until uh, later, uh, see y'all around. Be careful out there. Stay vigilant. It's a crazy place. Crazy time to live. Peace out, guys.